Hey guys, it is Bob John here. Um, back with another video, and I know it's been quite some time since you've heard my voice, and it's probably a whole lot different uh, compared to what you're used to hearing. So I'll just let that sink in. Um, but I just wonder how many of you are still around. <laughs> that's my first. That's my first doubt upon recording this video. Um, but it's not so much about the numbers, it's more about just having a conversation with you and those of you that still have access to your YouTube channels that you might have used to watch my videos, uh, you know, what is it, uh, seven or eight years ago now, maybe more than that, is, I think it's been about ten years, maybe eight years. And yeah, I, I, I really, I didn't know what sort of format to make this video in, I wasn't planning to make... Um, yeah, I wasn't planning anything in particular. I just wanted to open a conversation and a dialogue. Um, and I'd love for some of you, uh, if you see this video, to leave a comment and tell me about where you're at in life, uh, what's changed for you, what you know, what what <laughs> what brought you to my videos in the first place, and and why are you still around, and what um, what makes it interesting for us to to have a conversation. Um, but I guess I should start with talking a little bit about myself, but I don't want to do too much of that. And I also don't want to just reminisce. Um, but I think inevitably those two things are going to take up most of this video. Um, so I, I've put some gameplay in the background because I didn't want to just, you know, show nothing. And I'm, I, I'm not quite ready for, uh, you know, just doing a video of uh, like a, a video log sort of thing. So I wanted to do a commentary and, and I just put some League of Legends in the background. And yeah, what a, what a decade it's been. Um, first, actually, let me discuss my channel and how I reflect on my channel, how I reflect on the time I spent playing Minecraft and all these other games, uh, mostly Minecraft, actually, with uh, a great group of friends um, at the time um, and with you guys, with, with all my, my bears, my community, you guys that I saw on the Hive every single time I logged on, pretty much, I would see um, someone wearing one of my, my bear skins. And that was fantastic um, because, you know, I mean, the reason people make YouTube videos and the reason people do this is, you know, partly because they're creative and, and they enjoy doing it. But another really salient reason, I think, is that it creates a sense of community and, and people sort of show an appreciation for what you do and, and they enjoy what you do. And that's that's really what makes it worth it. I mean... Uh, and, and that goes beyond the amount of sort of likes and, and views that you get. I mean, of course, those are a, a metric to show just how many people you're reaching and how much they like what you're doing, uh, which is important. But it's also the depth of the community. And I think the depth of our community at a certain time on this particular Minecraft server, uh, for the most part, was quite, quite strong. And it was quite unique. And it was quite, uh, it, it's quite a good memory for me, let me just say that. My, the way that I look back on this time is that I spent a lot of time doing something really fun and something that I really loved uh, and had a lot of fun with my friends. Uh, many of whom, actually almost all of whom I have zero contact with now, which is also a real shame um, because that's that's what happens a lot of the time with these sort of internet uh, friendships and, and this clan that we had, this, um, this survival game clan is that you sort of lose track over time of people. And especially if you sort of lose your, you know, whatever, your Skype or your, or you stop making YouTube videos or you, you, you drift away from the community, which sort of everyone does because it was, you know, most of us were growing up and we were, you know, we were in school. And and then you sort of just lose these people forever. And, and at first it's like, it's like, fine, whatever, you sort of move on to a different phase of your life. You don't really, you know, you're not necessarily wanting to, to speak to these people every day anymore. And that's okay. And that's a good thing. But but then eventually it gets to the point, well, you completely lost them and you barely even know their names and, and you sort of maybe know their first name, but I mean, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to find them again. And it wasn't, you know, it, it's, there's just too great of a barrier almost to reaching out to a lot of people and, and finding them and they're, they're too buried too, too far and too deep in the past, um, which is okay uh, as well, because that can happen to all sorts of friendships, not just friendships that were, um, originated online and on video games and actually uh, i think things that are online so friendships and and other things communities 
you know, at least they sort of leave a mark somewhere. I mean, even if you sort of private all your YouTube videos, they're there and, and you can go back and you can watch them and you can go back and see who posted on your, you know, whatever your Facebook wall when you were 13 or your, your Skype uh, messages if you managed to, to find your, your login details, which I don't think I have anymore. But yeah, these things kind of leave leave a mark and leave a track in a way that traditional friendships uh, in the past, you know, if you had friends when you were a kid and you sort of moved away to a different school, it can be very difficult um, to reach out and to to sort of see the legacy that those friendship had, uh, friendships had because they are just not there anymore. Right? There's no there's no record of what took place, and it's only in your memories. And memories are very very fickle, guys. I think memory. Uh, especially in this day and age when there's so much stimulation and information, memory only goes so far. So, yeah. But um, but in general, my, my reflections on my YouTube channel, and I can talk about this more in the future if I decide to make any more videos, if any of you care to watch. I think if I, if I go back to making videos, I'm going to have to come up with something new um, and, and form a new audience around that. But I, I'm not quite sure I, I want to do that. Um, but yeah, overall, YouTube, a very, um, very positive memory for me. Uh, one that I eventually, I felt like grew out of or grew, grew kind of bored of, um, grew a little bit stale for me. I, I didn't feel like I was making new types of content. I didn't feel like I was stimulated by the work that I was doing. Um, so I think that's, that's why I came to an end. And also because I just started to move away a little bit from gaming and, and Minecraft specifically. And I also just didn't feel as though I enjoyed the process as much anymore. And I wasn't taking the the creative joy out of it that I, I once had. So I think it was it was the right time to take a step back. Um, and when I when I sort of fell out of love with the game, which was which really fueled my videos. I think people came to my videos because I loved the game and I loved, you know, trying to be good at it. Then that sort of also took a nosedive. Um, and I, I did game a little bit after that. So I, I played some League of Legends. In, in the years following, actually quite a bit of League of Legends, but it sort of never occurred to me to go back and make videos on League of Legends because I just enjoyed the game for what it was, and I, I sort of felt like I'd closed that chapter in my in my life at that point. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I left you guys with <laughs> with nothing, um, which I sort of did, but um, that's that's the way of life, and sometimes people just have to move on. Um, and just to reflect on life in general, so since I stopped making YouTube videos, well, what have I been up to? Um, well, I finished school. I was in school at the time. I, I graduated. I went to university. I did my bachelor's, my master's, and uh, and I started working. Did a couple internships, and and have been working since. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing related to content creation, uh, or even very creative, unfortunately. So that's sort of an outlet I think that I haven't been able to fulfill. Um, pretty much since I, I stopped making YouTube videos, um, which is maybe also what has kind of attracted me back a little bit. Not to say that I intend to make a lot of content now or even make videos, and I don't even expect very many people to see this video. But just to explain my my story and my my intentions a little bit since then. To be quite honest with you guys, I did I do miss being creative. Uh, so I've, I've sort of been creative in different ways since then, but that's, you know, it's one outlet in my life that I haven't been able to fill um, quite as much as I, I would have liked to. And I think the last time I really did fill it was by making these videos. And and you can say that, you know, they're not particularly creative because, you know, I'm just playing a game and I'm talking over it. And then, you know, you sort of edit it and make a thumbnail. But it's the very act, I think, of sharing a piece of content whether or not it's a it's a video game or you know it's just your stream of consciousness talking, uh, I think that's a very creative thing, and I think trying to make a piece of content that other people want to consume is a very interesting and and it's a very creative endeavor, and it's something you know it, it's nothing that I was ever excellent at. I mean you know I just had uh, whatever ten thousand subscribers on YouTube in in twenty thirteen, which was nothing nothing special, but I found a lot of satisfaction out of trying to make these videos where people would, you know, that people would enjoy. And yeah, yeah, that's, that's something I do miss. And that's, you know, sort of why I've been considering making this video, even if I don't come back to doing YouTube, is just, you know, tap into that, uh, into that instinct a little bit and, and sort of feel again what it feels like to make something 
sort of for the other for for the eyes of people to consume and 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 entertain you know entertainment i mean at the end of the day that's pretty much all we want nowadays i mean most of us live you know we're very fortunate i think a lot of you guys live in germany but most of us live in in western countries um where life is pretty fucking easy you know there's not there's not much to not much threat in our lives and most of our time is spent with consuming content and and choosing the things that best entertain us uh, and now this is another topic I could talk about later on whether or not, you know, it's a good way of living life and how sustainable it is. But the fact of the matter is a lot of our time is spent with entertainment. So in order to make a piece of content that people elect to view in their spare time in this abundant era of entertainment, this is, I mean, now we're talking about an abundance that was unheard of in, in 2013 or whenever I was making videos. I mean, this was, uh, that was a completely different era and the standards were far, far lower and people were far less interesting tell you the truth. There, there were YouTubers that were moderately successful that were just, you know, I mean, they were just kids. We were just kids and we were just, you know, having fun. And and that was a part of the charm of it. Don't get me wrong. I think that's part of the reason I sometimes like to go back and view these videos of of, of peer of my peers at the time. You know, I remember Sam Haribo was making videos at the time and I went back, uh, you know, a few weeks ago and I just happened to stumble upon one of his videos and I watched it and I was like, wow, I really get why people were entertained by this. This is so it's almost a whole, it's a, it was a very wholesome piece of content. It's also very relatable to me, right? Because I was doing the same thing at the same time and, and I was very much in that world. But yeah, guys, if any of you have any fond memories that you'd like to share from back in the day, whether or not it's related to uh, me or my channel, just something from your time playing survival games or Minecraft, please just go ahead and share them in the comments. Uh, I think it would be nice to, I think we'd all like to reminisce a little bit and hear from one another. If there's any of you left, if there's any of you that care to click on this video and still remember uh, some of the old times, then then I think it'd be fun to, to have a little chat. And if not, thanks so much for, for watching. And yeah, maybe speak to you soon. I'll, uh, I'll be around. Take care, guys.